Hello and welcome. The Minecraft Live 2023 mob boat has been revealed. All three mobs. We've got the crab, we have the armadillo, and finally the penguin. All three mobs looking awesome this year. Very interesting choices. All real animals as well. And before I like actually begin talking about the animals and which ones you should vote for and the pros and cons, you know, whichever one you like the most, you should vote for. You know, don't like be swayed by anybody. I don't want to like sway you and go, oh, you know. You have to vote for this one or that one. They all have like a, a certain buff to them. So like, you know, like a positive attribute they'll add to the game. Like that's, I feel like that's what they've decided to add now. Like the crab claw, the armor, and then like the speed boost for the penguin. Even if you like a choice you don't like wins, it still like adds something to the game and people will be happy. So yeah, we should vote for whichever one you'd like, you know, just off of like um, the animals themselves, not their like abilities. It's got to be the um, penguin for me. I feel like the penguin for me is like the one I really want to get added to the game. But the armadillo for the dog armor is like definitely like my like ah dude the dog armor might make me vote for the armadillo um i'm gonna still vote during the in-game thing and do a whole video on that so stay tuned for the channel like and subscribe you know i don't usually say like and subscribe but like and subscribe and you know you know watch that video It'd be awesome It'd be very cool going in bedrock edition and like um, play on the map and like do all the fun little mini games there and try to find all the easter eggs on that map it'd be pretty cool and so yeah so the free the free the free mobs basically yeah whichever animal you like the most you should vote for and then and now but now it comes down to abilities if you want to like have the crab claw or the dog armor or the speed boost from boats like which one of these adds the most to the game straight away like you know straight away like which one's like hmm it depends what kind of player you are because if you're like a builder the crab claw is definitely like the the, the big one for you because you're going to be get, getting the extra reach you know going to be able to like definitely do a lot of extra building it'd be really cool to have the crab claw but if you're also a you know more pvp oriented you know you, you probably want the dogs to have armor so they can actually like fight and be useful in game you know it'd be very cool to have the dogs be able to survive like more than one hit like i don't know how much damage they can take right now but like let's say like a creeper explosion like your dog can like withstand like a creeper explosion you know now, look with the armor on it, as an example, you know? So that would be like, oh, good, you know? My dog can actually, like, live, you know? But also, like, the penguins? The penguins, like, I feel like if you're a speedrunner or, like, someone who, like, explores a lot, having the penguins, like, speed boost your boat would just really help a lot, you know? Having a random penguin boost you. You know, like, it's great when you're, like, watching, like, you know, Minecraft Manhunt and then, like, the, the, the dolphin grace and they go zooming, you know, in a Minecraft Manhunt. It's very cool. And, yeah, dolphins are a cool animal, you know? Like, getting that random effect. The only thing about the penguin, oh no, it'll give you speed boost though. And it'll give you a new effect, I was about to say, if it gives you a new, like a penguin effect. No, because it speed boosts only in boats. It's going to make that achievement where you get all the, um, the potion effects at once really hard. Because you have to now be in a boat to get the, the effect as well. But you can, how do you, how do you get that and the dolphin one? You have to be in the water as well. That's going to be, that's going to be hard. If we go for like, through each pro and con, we'll start with the crab. The, the, the con is it spawns in the mangrove swamp, which is a very rare biome. That's the, first, that's the first con for the, the crab, like, you know. That's something that was well, like, or, like for the sniffer, for example. The sniffer is a really cool mob. I think it fit the theme of the last update really well. Being, like, an archaeology thing in the archaeology update, which I think was really cool. And it's rare, though. It's rare is the problem, because it's, like, only found in the ocean ruins, and you have to, like, put it down. You know, it, it, can, be, it can be quite rare, because you have to find two of them to then breed them, so you get, then get infinite of them. So finding two sniffer eggs in those like ruins is like pretty pretty tough if you're like you know not like super exploring and you know you don't go around your world a lot. You know, that's the thing I need to do more in the game, or I just need to explore more and like go around and loot all the structures and like do that kind of stuff. Because so, I like I like I just like very much like stay, staying in the sort of area I'm in. But yeah, so you got to like do that. You got to like actually find it. Like I guess for all of them, you know. But like the Sony Shores should be pretty common because they're like. For the penguin, they, they should be pretty common. Because they're like, just like go to the ocean and you should be able to find one. And then the other biome is the armadillo. The savannah and the, like the other warm biomes. The, yeah, like savannas are like really common, I feel like. I feel like I always run into savannas. Maybe it's just like my luck and like other people always run into like mangrove swamps. I don't know. But I feel like I feel like the most common one would be the armadillo. If we were to like to see it, to see it you know, add it to the game. It would be cool to see that like actually... Um, a new stuff being in the savannah because the savannah is really empty right now. But I'd rather have like you know elephants and giraffes and stuff, huge animals because savannah is like really open, 
like areas that could like would be really good to have a huge animal in them. You know that like you know you see this huge open area. There's like a big elephant. It'd be cool. Like the little armadillo is like hard to see. You know, in that huge savanna. Now if we go to like the actual mob. What would the mob like do? Not 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 items. They're like their abilities. But, like what will they like do for the game? Like the crab can go up and down blocks, which is pretty cool. You know, and it can, you know the, the the crab and the armadillo have farmable items, which is you know the one thing about them, where they drop the claw and the the scoot, and it, you know the scoot will probably work exactly like turtle scoot, and the crab claw will probably work like the goat horn, where you like they all like pinch you and then like they'll drop the claw, or you know they'll pinch a marble or like something like that and they'll like drop the, the claw, so. They have like farmable like items that you can get lots of items of those, but the um, but the penguin doesn't have an item. It's just got the the speed boost. It might it might have an item, but they're not they're not confirmed it. They probably won't have an item because I don't feel like any penguins will drop anything. So the penguin does lose a lot of points in the no item department. You know you know I'll, I'll, when I go to the zoo, I always look at the penguins. They're great. It is the emperor penguin as well, and in the like the the trailer, the penguins like. The baby penguins look like an actual baby penguin. Like, you know when you watch Happy Feet? The baby penguins are all, like, fluffy and cute, you know? But the the, the one in the trailer was, like, just, like, the big one, but small. So, like, sort of like all the other Minecraft animals, where they're, like, they're just, like, the big version, but tiny. But, yeah, I feel, I feel like the three mobs are pretty cute, you know? I know some people are like, oh, you know, how's the crab and the armadillo cute? You know, what's Jeff talking about cute mobs? I feel like they're cute. The little armadillo in the little trailer was cute. And the little, little crab, little crabs are little cute little crabs. I feel like this is like speculation now. But if they added the the crab, they'd have like the cra the crab rave meme, you know, where like if you played a music disc near a crab, it would like it'd be it'd be like a, a achievement for that. And I feel like if you got got like the penguin, you'd have like a achievement for like you know happy feet if you played music disc near them. <laughs> and then the armadillo, I'm trying to think what achievement you could get for that. Um, hmm, maybe like rock rock and rock and roll. That'd be it. It'd be like, oh, play, play music near the, the armadillo. Like, I, I, I found a way to, like, get all three of them a music achievement just then. You know? That's, that's great. That's just, that's all speculation, though. They probably won't have an achievement. Well, the sniffer actually had an achievement when you got this sniffer, so... They probably will have an achievement tied to them as well. Who knows? We, we, all speculation. We don't know anything about that stuff. They, all, they won't add too much to the game. You know, I feel like the dog armor one might add the most of the game in terms of, like... And the crab claw. They'll add the most, like, actual, like, use to the game. Like, I feel like the Crab Claw is something you use in the game. Like, out of the three mobs. I feel like it's really, it's really tough. I feel like this year is actually, like, a really good, in terms of, like, I don't know who will win. Because I can see, like, people being like, oh, I need the Crab Claw in the game. But I could also see people being like, oh, I, I want my dog to have armor. I've wanted dog armor for the last, like, 20 years, you know. Well, my has been, like, 10 years. It's been out. But yeah, there's people who've literally played Minecraft for the last like ten years, and they'll finally add the Minecraft dog armor into the game. But the penguin's like the the best, I think, mob of the three mobs. If like the dog armor was the penguin, I think it'd be a slam dunk. I think it'd be like a slam slam dunk, easy. Add that, you know. I feel like people would be really angry because they don't they want their like actual mob to be added to the game. Because when the mood bloom wasn't added, I don't I, I like I never had like the mood bloom was like a, a mob I really wanted to the game. I know those people were like, I want the Moo Bloom, I want the Moo Bloom. Even the Minecraft guy was like, oh, I want the Moo Bloom added to the game. But, you know, like, that's like a fake animal. It's not like a real, like, a real animal. Like, oh. Like, like if, the, if the the crab loses, people who, like, actually like crabs will be like, no, I want the crab. And then they won't get crab for, like, years if, if they even ever add the crab to the game ever, you know? It'd be very, it'd be very sad for those kind of people who like that the, those mobs. That's just how it goes, though, in the mob vote. Hopefully, hopefully, like, you know, a good mob will win this year. I feel like they're all good, though. I feel like they all have something that they can bring to the game, which is what they sort of, I think, are going for. Having three, having three good options, but then the problem with having three good options is that you want all three of the options, and then, like, if the option you wanted doesn't get added to the game, you're like, no, I want this, this thing would have been really good. You know, I really wanted the Crab Claw. People get really attached to the Crab Claw. Like, I really want that Crab Claw. And then if the crab claw doesn't win, they're like, no, I need the crab claw. But yeah, but also like dog armor, like it's, it's, it's tough. It's really tough. It's a really tough decision to like the balance of like them having, should we add some really cool features for them to vote on or have no features to vote on? 
so people aren't angry, but they'll be angry that there's no good features to vote on. Like, oh, these three mobs are useless and, like, cosmetic, like, the bat, you know, the bat doesn't do anything. And people are like, why are you adding, like, mobs that don't do anything? You should be adding cool new mobs that add, add stuff to the game. But it's like, if we do that, then you, like, don't, you, you don't want the, but you, but you get angry because we don't get the mob you wanted to the game. So it's like, it's like that, it's like, ah, no, what do we do? But yeah. So, in summary, in summary, it's all that. Make sure you vote on the mob you want to vote for the all in the game. Add the one that you you think is the best one. You know, I'm going to be voting for the penguin probably. I might switch back to the crab claw, but then I also might switch back to the dog armor because the dog armor is so cool. I'm really torn. It's actually like really torn. I feel like I'm going to vote penguin. My number two is going to be the dog armor. I'm not even talking about that the armadillo as like the actual mob. But it's like the actual, it's like the, it's like the thing it adds to the game is the, is the thing I like more than the mob. But yeah, it's like the, the penguin, the dog armor, and then the crab will be like the way I'm sort of leaning and like how I feel like it'll, I'll go. And I feel like that's sort of how the mob vote will, will plan out. I feel like that's the, the way the votes will sort of land. You know, that's my prediction. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Talking about the mob vote. Been a lot of fun. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.